Okay, so welcome back. In this tutorial, you will learn how to backup and restore your WordPress website using a plugin called Updraft Plus. So, as usual, go to plugins and click add new. And then in the search box, type Updraft Plus and select the first one with 1 million installations. And click on the install now button and then activate the plugin. Once you have activated the plugin, you will see a tab up here called Updraft Plus and some different options. So I'm going to click on Current Status. And here you will see the plugin interface, which is really easy to use. Now I'll go to Settings to set up the automatic backup schedule, which by default is set to Manual. So I'm going to change the backup schedule to Weekly. And then I'm going to select Dropbox, which will be the remote storage for my backups. And scroll down and click on Save Changes. Now you need to connect to your Dropbox account by clicking the link. If you don't have a Dropbox account, just click Create an account down here. So I will put my email address and the password and click Sign In. And then click Allow to give access to Updraft Plus. And lastly, click Complete Setup. Once done with that, you should see a success message up here. At this point, all your backups will be saved on your Dropbox account. So to give you an example, I will perform a manual backup by clicking the Backup Now button. And make sure to check all the boxes here. And then click Backup Now. This process may take some time depending on the size of your website. Once the backup is complete, I will open a new tab and go to my Dropbox account. And here you will see the backup files which you can use to restore your website. To understand better, I will open my website to see how it looks like at this moment. Now, let's say for example that a hacker gets access to your WordPress website and goes to Teams and activates a different team and then removes the virtual team by clicking Delete. So if something like this happens, you could lose your hard work if you don't have a backup. Now, if I go back to the website and refresh the page, you can see the website doesn't look very well right now. So to restore the website back with the virtual team, I will go to the WordPress dashboard and hover over the Updraft Plus and click on Existing Backups. Now here you need to click the Restore button and check all the boxes if you want to make a full site backup. And then click Restore. Once the restore process is complete, I will go to my website and refresh the page. As you can see, everything is back the way it was. So that's it for now, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.